And now I'm introducing you to a man, he's a nutritionist and trainer, who's unlocked the signs to completely reshaping your body. My next guest is my nutritionist and my very good friend, and he just wrote the book, it's called Body Confidence. I started working with you, it actually works. I'm eating more and I'm losing weight. Uh, Mark McDonald is here. We're very excited. He's creator of the Venice Nutrition Program. He's the CEO of Venice Nutrition. He's the author of a, a New York Times bestseller. Mark McDonald. Please meet Mark McDonald. I'm here to tell you your yo-yo dieting days are over. Mark McDonald. He's the mastermind behind the latest weight loss phenomenon that's transforming thousands of women. Come on, finish strong. And he says he has the secret to transform your over 35 body for good. I've been there. I was an athlete growing up. But then once I stopped playing sports, ate pizza every day with ice cream, I gained 60 pounds in six months. I was determined to get my six pack abs back at any cost. I tried all the diets and I got great results. I was starving and miserable. Growing up, I saw my mom struggle with dieting. I saw it happen to my wife. I was determined to crack the code for pain-free permanent weight loss. Now, McDonald is the driving force behind thousands of success stories. Even Chelsea Handler credits Mark for reshaping her body. I finally uncovered the secret to turn your body into a calorie burning machine. And you don't need a fancy gym or a magic pill. And the best part, is you're never gonna feel hungry again. Hi, Mark McDonald here, New York Times best-selling author and international nutrition and fitness expert. I created this site as a vehicle to help you get your body back. I want you to think about what is your health goal? Maybe you wanna lose weight, maybe you wanna build muscle, maybe you wanna increase your energy, minimize your stress, or possibly you just wanna feel better and learn how to do it for yourself and for your family. You see, I grew up watching my mom struggle with her weight. She would take on a diet, drop the pounds, and then the moment the diet ended, she would slowly go back to what she was doing and she would regain everything that she lost. And watching her drop 50 pounds plus 10 different times was hard to see. It was like every single time she regained the weight, she felt like a failure. And it wasn't my mom that was failing, she was willing to do the work she was willing to take the coaching. She was just being led down the wrong path. And I didn't really understand that until I experienced it myself. You know, I grew up an athlete, ate whatever I wanted, used exercise to stay lean. The moment I stopped playing soccer in college, kept eating poorly, pizza, you know, as a normal young man would do, took my cardio out and I put on 60 pounds in six months. I freaked out and I did exactly what my mom did. Cut my calories, cut my carbs, starved myself basically for four months and took my body fat down to 4% and lived as a fitness model for the next couple years in LA, looking amazing and feeling horrible. So I love food and I enjoy my food. That's the biggest thing. When I used to fitness model and I dieted, I suffered and I hated my food. How about this for holiday cheer? You can really eat foods that you love over the holidays and stay in shape. You can eat more you can. and lose weight. It's amazing because I met Mark when I was 27 years old and I like my alcohol and that's what brought you us together. Yeah. And so I came to you because a friend of mine, Portia, remember Portia said, you know, you can, you have to go on it because I was starving myself all the time and I go up and down and sometimes I call you and sometimes I'd like to avoid you. But, <laughs> but when I do follow your program, which means you're eating constantly and all the time and it really made a huge difference in my life. While I still am able to enjoy my Belvedere, yes. I realized that we were possibly soulmates. <laughs> I mean, you think about it, by 2020, 75% of the adult American population will be over, either overweight or obese. We're regressing as a society because we think that eating less is better. You see, as an athlete, I used exercise to stay lean. As a fitness model, I used dieting to stay lean. And that's what most people do. And we think we have to suffer. We think we have to starve ourselves to achieve the weight or look we want. And then eventually, like I saw my mom, you just give up and you say, oh, I'm just gonna be unhealthy. I'm just not gonna feel my best. No, the dieting madness stops now.
Stop the craziness of dieting. You were a dieter trying to find the right diet and you would lose a little weight and then bounce back. You were going up and down a lot. You had the yo-yo dieting situation. Maritza Willis lost 112 pounds. We had a mom who dropped from 250 pounds to 130 pounds. You lost 90 pounds. You went from a triple XL to a regular large. You're down eight pant sizes. Melissa Gilbert went from 188 pounds to 126 pounds. That's a 62 pound weight loss. Overweight and on six different blood pressure uh, meds. Five years ago, he suffered a heart attack. He survived it, but his doctors told him, Justin, you need to lose weight. Take a look at him now. 118 pounds lighter and he says a lot happier at her heaviest amber blancet's life was in serious danger she was diagnosed as pre-diabetic and she developed debilitating migraines it got so bad that her doctors told her she could not go to work anymore but amber found a way to reclaim her life and drop all of that weight i needed to eat more um, throughout the day and um with my family so that's what I started to do, and the pounds just started dropping. 120, yes, I said 120 pound weight loss. The only thing that I had to put on was elastic size pants, clothes with, with elastic on it, and then also knowing that every time I looked in the mirror, there was someone beautiful in there, but I was literally stuck in that fat shell, and I just wanted to escape that. Seven months ago, it was 303 pounds. I had an appetite. An appetite for food and fun, parties, drinks, and it was always over the top. My name is Heather Hartman. I'm 36 years old and the mother of two. I started my journey in October 2012, weighing in at 287 pounds and 58% body fat. This was the heaviest I had ever found myself. By the end of the eight-week run, my final weigh-in was 192 pounds, dropping an additional 30.8 pounds. 11.7% body fat and 20.5 inches. During the eight weeks, I was able to lose all of the baby weight that I had gained while I was pregnant, just under 30 pounds. The next thing I knew, I was wearing real people clothes. You know, I had a shape <laughs> and I went outside and I felt good. Since May of 2014, I have dropped an additional nine pounds, bringing my total weight loss to 104 pounds and 15.9% body fat loss. I am not done yet. We didn't just lose our weight, we gained our confidence back, plus so much more. What I realized in 1999, being a nutritionist, kinesiologist, my own personal experience, and tons of research, is that you can look and feel your very best. It's not about using food to lose weight, it's about using food to create hormonal balance in your body by eating in threes. So when your blood sugar is balanced, your hormones are balanced, and that triggers your body to consistently release stored fat, and that's how we achieve permanent weight loss. So what about calorie restriction? Most people go on the, their diets mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna eat 1,200, 1,300 calories a day. You said it doesn't work. Well, it, You'll so lose there's, weight. There's every, any, anything can help you lose weight. The big question is this. Can it take you to that next level? Can it actually permanently reprogram your metabolism and prevent you from gaining the weight back? Mm -hmm. Everyone knows how to lose weight. Most people gain it back. The way you stop that is rather than using food to lose weight, use it to create balance in your body by stabilizing your blood sugar. That creates internal hormonal balance, releases stored fat, and with the right exercise, you burn all that fat up in your muscle. This is the most important thing. Every time you miss a meal, your body burns muscle, which slows down your metabolism, makes you hungry, really hungry going into that next meal, and that's when you eat the donuts and the and the fried chicken and things like that that spike your blood sugar. Let's get a better way. Let's educate you on how to pace yourself better, stabilize your blood sugar, and actually teach you how to take the food you love, work them into your day, and then get the right exercise in. When your blood sugar is balanced in the right range, your body triggers the release of its stored fat. You use your stored fat for fuel. Your sugar cravings are gone. Your energy is increased. Your weight actually becomes a permanent fixture, meaning that you permanently reprogram your metabolism and you build muscle, which increases your metabolic speed. That's the key to getting your body back, to stop the dieting madness and understand your first step is to accept it, that you need to eat in threes and food is your foundation.
And I was really, really scared when I met him. I was really like at my wit's end because I had like cellulite like in areas that I didn't know were possible. And that was the best thing because yep. you lose cellulite. It comes off. Like you can get rid of cellulite and people don't know that. And when I get ready for, because I wrote the foreword for this book. And when I got ready for my shape shoot, you got me into really good shape too. And, um, and cellulite goes away. And girls struggle all the time. And the, the key is, and men, is to eat constantly to feed yourself small meals that are balanced and healthy. And stabilize your blood sugar because your body, people People think if you if you avoid fat and you don't eat, your body will use fat for fuel, and it just doesn't work like that. It actually by eating more meals in the right breakdowns, your body releases fat, and that's going to give you the trim tone body that many of us want. Right. Which we call body confidence. Well, you can call it whatever you want. But... <laughs> Basically, eating in threes is eating every three hours some proteins and fat and some carbohydrates, and that balances your blood sugar. See, your body's fuel source is ATP. ATP is how your body creates energy, just like how gas runs a car. I want you to think of a baby. A baby feeds every three hours. They have some protein, fat, carbohydrates, a balance of it in breast milk or formula. They stop eating when they're satisfied, and then they eat again when they're hungry. The first breath you took, that's how you were meant to be fed. That's your physiology. And that's exactly why you need to balance your blood sugar. See, every time you skip a meal, or every time that you you work out on an empty stomach, your blood sugar drops, you overrelease a hormone called glucagon, which makes you burn muscle and slows down your metabolism. And then the next meal, you don't crave chicken or tuna or steak, you don't crave protein, you crave carbs because that's how your body makes ATP. So you spike your blood sugar, you overrelease insulin, and you store fat. And that is why people are struggling with their health. They're burning muscle and storing fat because they're using food to lose weight rather than using food to create hormonal balance by eating in threes. So it's not about doing more, it's about being smart at what you do. Yeah. And starting to understand that in that same five hours, let's make sure that you're activi activating as much muscle as possible to burn that fat up. People do fall off the, the wagon quite mm -hmm. a bit when it comes to diets. Should they tell everybody they're on a, you know, they're, they're making these changes in their lives and have people hold them accountable? Definitely, I think people should share it with everyone. I, you know, I think <laughs> a lot of times clients would come to me and they'll say, uh, uh, like a wife will say, how do I get my husband on the program? Right, right. When I say live the program, lead by example, yeah. but a lot of times the reason why people don't do diets is because the people who are dieting are suffering. Their energy is horrible, they're craving sugar, they're not happy. If you do it the right way, you should be enjoying your food, you should be loving your exercise, and then you make it a community feeling, you include your families and friends. It's, it's interesting because I didn't think, I was like, this is never going to work. I mean, you're telling me I'm going to eat this much. <laughs> I can't eat this much. I don't, you know, because I'm used to eating like yep. one big meal a day at night and then a, a small breakfast and that's it. It's amazing. I eat six times a day. And, and you're enjoying your food, and right? And I'm enjoying that. I get That's to eat the whatever food I want as long as I keep it in balance, as you say. And you can have your off-plan meals too, Don. It's just understanding how to balance all of it. That's what we talk about the holidays. You can enjoy your food. Just be great with everything else. Mark McDonald's called Body Confidence. It's a great book. And it's good, and it works for everybody's type, we, yeah, right? We all have. I mean, we all like even that. <laughs> <laughs> it would work fantastic for Chewy. All right. Look, the diety madness, as I said, stops now. It's time you understand that you can have the body that you want. You can feel your best. And you can truly unlock your body's full potential. Thank you for visiting the site. Thank you for become, becoming part of our community. And I'm here to help you every step of the way. And always remember, the transformation starts with you. I mean, that's the name of the book, Body Confidence, but I wouldn't have approved that because it sounds <laughs> super gay. But. <laughs> But that's how he is. He's, he's straight, but he's super gay. And he hugs, and he hugs you all the time. I mean, you stayed at my house with your son and, and your wife, and yeah. my brother said he's never received more hugs in like a three-day period in his life. I've already hugged him five times today. I know, he goes, cool it. It's like very annoying because <laughs> last night you had your first book signing in Santa yes. Monica and you hugged every single person in line. And I'd like to tell you, you're gonna get sick of that really quick. <laughs> because you have a lot of book signings coming up and yeah. it's gonna get very annoying. Yeah.